For 85 years, Desert Botanical Garden has been working to conserve desert plants and educate people about the natural world around them. It's an effort that came to life out of necessity. In the 1930s, people were take, tearing up the desert and trying to turn it into the places they had moved here from, maybe the east or the midwest. So native plants were going away left and right. The state granted the founders 150 acres of land to create a sanctuary for native plants. Surprisingly, one of the most endangered plants at the time were cactus. First, cactus weren't popular in home gardens, and people tore them out and sent them to the landfill in order to put in more friendly and more pretty things from back home. So the garden's purpose then was to sort of save our natural heritage. And As the garden's popularity grew, people started to appreciate desert flora more. Came sort of treated the garden as something akin to Ripley's Believe It or Not of the plant world. They would come look at the freaky cactus, just the, the tall, unusually shaped, scary sometimes. So they were oddities of the natural world. So After more than eight decades of preserving desert plants and introducing people to their beauty and draw, the Desert Botanical Garden has become a saving grace in conservation efforts. We're now seen as the Noah's Ark of the plant world. We hold here endangered species that in a generation could be gone in the wild. We have the material when the time is right to reintroduce species into the wild and to recover habitats. So and the hope is that the garden will inspire visitors to do their part in preserving the desert landscape. We want to develop with them a relationship where they think of themselves as stewards of the natural world and maybe take home more of a conservation ethic and begin taking care of their little patch of the earth